Hello, my name is Riley from Numerous, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Numerous inside of Google Sheets to automate your spreadsheet busy work. So I'm going to go up to the Extensions button in the menu. Um, if you haven't already, you can install Numerous by clicking Add-ons, add Get Add-ons, and then searching for Numerous in Google Store. Once you've done that, you can go down here to Numerous.ai and click Show Sidebar. So I have this uh, demo table here with a list of restaurant reviews. And I'm gonna pretend to be the restaurant owner um, and do some analysis on the reviews. So the first thing I wanna do is write a response using AI to the customer, um, either um, thank them for their praise or acknowledge their concerns. Um, so I'm going to click into cell B2 here, the first review, and type in um, equals AI. This is one of Numerous's main functions. Um, I can go on the sidebar here and see some more um, documentation about this, but um, equals AI is just like any other um, spreadsheet formula, and I can prompt it to do things for me. So I can say, write me um, a reply to this restaurant review from the restaurant to the customer. Um, I'll wrap that in quotes, and um, then hit comma, and then actually add in reference the, the review. Um, and these prompts, um, you can kind of experiment with them. Sometimes um, you might not get the results that exactly how you want, um, and you can actually go back into the prompts, revise it, be more specific, um, kind of guide the AI to do exactly what you want. So you can see that it um, wrote the response here, and I can also drag this down, this formula down to the other reviews and apply the same, uh, same thing. The next thing I want to do is extract the food item from the review. So in each of these reviews, um, the customer mentions some kind of food item. Here it's the miso soup, here it's the spaghetti. I want to extract that. Um, so I can either write another equals AI formula myself um, and do that manually, or I can go into um, the sidebar and we have a couple of pre-built-in tools here, one of which is extract, which I'm going to use. Um, and I can type in extract the, the food item from the restaurant review in column A. And then I click into the cell where I want to place this extraction and then place extraction, I click that button. And you can see it, it finds miso soup. And I can drag this down just like before. Whoops, this is going kind of fast. Um, and then it gets the, the food item the next thing I want to do is figure out the cuisine of the actual food item. So this is something that is kind of um, basic information, something you can Google for. Um, we also have another tool here called Get Basic Information. Um, so if I wanted to find the cuisine from the food item in column C, I can type in something like, give me the cuisine of the food item in column C. And then again, I can click into the cell in column D and place the result. And just like before, I can drag it down again to apply it to my whole table. Whoops, it's moving very fast. Um, and then the next thing I want to do is find the sentiment of the review. Um, let me just make this a little smaller so I can see everything here. So I either want to figure out if the review is positive or negative. So we have another tool called Sentiment Analysis where um, I can analyze the sentiment of the restaurant review in column A. And you can define exactly what you want it to return. So I can, I'll say positive um, and negative. Um, but you could also add more things too. You could add neutral, you could add very, very positive, very, very negative. Um, you can kind of get what you want, but um, I'll place that result. You can see it says negative, and then I can drag that down again. So the next thing I want to do is um, we also have another tool called Generate Formula. Um, if you want to generate a, a normal spreadsheet formula, um, but you don't know exactly how to do it, you can describe to the AI in words exactly what kind of formula you want, and it will make it for you. Um, so in this case, in column F, I either want um, a one or a zero. Um, one if the sentiment is positive and zero if it's negative. Um, so I will say um, in cell E2, 
And just a note, you have to be very specific in the cell references here. Um, numerous can't read the contents of your spreadsheet. So, it doesn't, so if I just said, um, for example, like um, the sentiment, it's not gonna know where the sentiment is in the spreadsheet. So you have to specifically say it's in column E. Um, it doesn't know where things are. So you have to describe and tell it to it where, what cells, what rows, what columns, the data that you want to um, write a formula for where it is. So I can say in cell E2, um, or actually uh, I'll restart. So return negative, or ret uh, sorry, return zero if cell E2 is negative, return one if cell E2 is positive. I can generate that formula. It might take a second. And I get a formula written for me. So I can insert this into the cell in F1. And you can see it correctly says zero. And then I can drag that down. And then I wanna find the average um, sentiment, I guess. So I can just type in um, uh, equals average. And then um, F2 to F11. I can see the average. Um, so 0.7, more on the positive side. Um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can email us. Um, our email is in the description of this video. Um, we'd love to help you, and we're really excited to see what you can do with Numerous. Thanks for watching.